I can even completely understand why people say the Bible's full of contradictions or scripture is constantly contradicting itself because it tries to walk a line between two spirits the spirit of the world and the spirit of God the spirit of the world and the spirit of God and we know they're not the same spirit my heavenly father might have built this place but he's not in charge of it. Which means everybody who grows up here isn't mystically going to be gifted with the spirit of the only true God. It's not going to be mystically happening anytime soon. What it means is that we actually have to put forth some effort. What it means is, is that we have to be born again. To have his spirit. We have to be transformed. The old us has to die. The old spirit of us has to die. We have to have the new. That's why the scriptures can say, on the one hand, the heart is wicked, the heart is deceitful. What happens when the old heart dies and you get a nice shiny new heart and it's a circumcised heart? And then you start saying things like, bless those who persecute you truly. Love God with your whole heart, mind, soul, and spirit. Love everyone. Because God in his infinite wisdom and I'm not being sarcastic was kind enough to not make distinctions and he loves you he loves me because he loved me He sent his son to seek me out. The only difference is between some of us is I want to examine my heart to truly make sure that I love and obey God. Because if I don't love and obey God, in truth, he's going to see that. If I'm saying I'm loving and, obey, loving and obeying God, yet I don't like my next door neighbor because they're really not a nice person deep down, that's not the same spirit. The more of God's spirit you have, the more you're going to love those around you. Regardless of what they do to you or for you. If the only reason why you love people is because they give you things, that's not love. If the only reason why you love your wife is because she's got a really great body and you like using it often, that's not love folks it's not the Spirit of God when God joins people together it's a commitment husbands love your wives as Christ loved the church now what's he talking about when he says the church? The body of believers. He's not talking about a building.
Just like when uh, you hear that scripture that says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Does God love the world right now? No. Because of what's in it. Now I'm not talking about the people. I'm talking about the sin. I'm talking about the ugliness. He loves the people, but he doesn't like what they're doing. He doesn't like the spirit of the world. There's a big difference. Huge. That's why that's why the scriptures can say two things about the heart and they're both correct because you have on the one hand scriptures about a wicked heart and he's telling you don't don't trust it don't trust it you know we as human beings want to think we're all great me and the father are like this I don't make no mistakes I'm sinless man I'm I'm righteous Whoa. You understand what you're saying? That very statement disqualifies you from true faith. Do you understand why? Are you getting mad when I'm saying stuff like that? Does that make you want to pick up a chair and throw it at your computer screen? What spirit are you of? Really examine it. Do you love? Are you truly happy? Do you have peace? Do you practice self-control? Are you easy to offend? Are you long-suffering for those in need? Do you go beyond what the world says is normal? I don't know how clear he can make this. I really don't. Thank you. And may God bless you all. Do you know what blessing actually means? He's not talking about cars. He's not talking about financial gain. He's not talking about all these things when we think of blessing. Man, God's really blessing me. God is just blessing me mightily. You know what it really means? You might want to Google it and look it up. You might be surprised at the answer. It means to make holier. That's what it means. So when we're saying we bless this brother, we bless that brother, we bless this sister, we bless that sister, we're saying we want God to make you holier. Is that what we really want sometimes? Do we want to really, really not like our sin? Do we really, really want to not like the fact that we're caught up in materialism? That's what it means. Alrighty, everybody. I truly do love you all. And I truly do want to see each and every one of you blessed by God.